So, here we are once again back doing the DLC. My notification from the guild that I joined. Uh, so, what was our next objective? Take the shuttle to the fueling docks? Wonder how close we actually are to uh, completing this. Grab this. We did hit 75 um, at the last second before I logged off last. Um, I think I just hit 75. So I think I might actually swap to HK. I don't know. He was like my main companion for the longest time. And I'm thinking about going back to him. But I'm not 100% sure. Um, is this a shuttle? Refueling dock? Refueling docks. Okay. Yep. Is it? I say what's up to the guild. You're better now. We're under attack. Squads three and nine reinforce the maintenance entrances. All right. Um. That's it. Come and get me. You'll move, Commander. One sec. I'm gonna make sure these guys. Sounds like a plan. I'll do my duty, sir. I want to get that 700. Tracking name targets. Hang on a boom. Turn this guy. Make sure I send max eight and then there we go. Okay. Uh, reach the command tower. Looks like it's just straight ahead. All right. I'm using the wrong mouse. I have to switch over in just a second here. Need squad five. Where are they at? There go. Nice. Hey, up. Oh, more coming in. They're all down. Oh my god, they, they just keep on coming, really. Are these guys for public? Or do they just look like troopers? Alright, hopefully it is the last one. I think I'm gonna move this guy down. Fires a high that deals and inflicts trauma for 10 seconds, reducing the healing. I don't remember why I moved it so high up. Yeah, let's just scooch these guys. That way we can get those dots in as soon as possible. There we go. I'm sure there was a reason why I had it all the way back there, but. Apparently it doesn't really matter anyways, so whatever. Oh, oh god. 
I do love the corrosive grenades. actually coming oh man that yeah i love these i do i do really enjoy the the sniper class it's definitely my favorite out of all of them I don't know how I'd feel if I did play as a uh, operative. I mean, it would be nice uh, sneaking past like characters like this, but at the same time, playing sniper for since pretty much the beginning, also enjoying the story like as the number one thing. I feel like it put me on a very good uh, spot to start the game with, even back when the game originally released. So, needed to defeat these uh, squad seven deployments. All right, let me make sure I get all these guys with the dots. I love that. All you need it it's literally so much faster just rotating between the enemies and hitting each one of them with the damage over time abilities. And by the time you get back to the other one to you might get like one or two abilities in, but then they're pretty much dead by that time. Like this guy, he's dead now. Love it. Absolutely love it. I guess I could have done that beforehand. I'm running, I'm running. Yeah, I need a new gun. I say hate how this gun looks. That's the one thing that kind of bothers me is like as much as you can change up your character looks and your outfit and everything. The actual guns and weapons, they don't change unless if you're actually using um, something different. Yeah, so like if I click on this, I can't change any of my guns, unfortunately. Defeat 7 squad lieutenant. Or squad 7 lieutenant. This guy. Beautiful. There they are. Alright, let's call in the, uh, oops. That. And there we go. Trooper will be dead in any second now. There it is. <laughs> Didn't even have to turn to them. Oh, yeah, right. So now since we hit uh, 75, we can take 
one or two more. We can only take one, really? One sec. Defense safeguards or deployed shields? Um, ballistic shield is active. You gain a charge, a defensive safeguard for each enemy inside your ballistic shield. Or this guy uh, reduces all damage taken while in cover by 5% and the cooldown a ballistic shield. Tactical retreat gives you for 10%. It's increased by 2 seconds. Hmm. Imperial preparation by 45 seconds. I think I'm going to take the reduces all damage taken. Yeah. Commit. Okay. All set. We don't get any new abilities, do we? Nah. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Find the failsafe console. Meksha Fleet Office. I've been waiting for this Imperial. Your plan ends here. Your plan ends here. All fixed up. I actually do like how majority of my abilities I can do outside of cover too. So like if I need a move, I can. It's not too bad. And there he goes. This isn't over. Activate this failsafe. I've reached the failsafe controls. We're through with the four emitters. Guess we're gonna do with this much resistance. Good enough! Activate the failsafe, now! Do not activate, or activate. I'm trying. There's something wrong. The console just exploded. The whole system must have failed. No! No! This can't be! Eh? <laughs> abort! Abort the mission! Everyone retreat! You made an all-out military assault on my docks. Meksha isn't imperial territory. You don't get to ignore my rules. Your concerns are noted. Meksha will form an alliance with the Sith Empire. In time, we will become very close friends indeed. We will establish a modest garrison here to ensure the ongoing prosperity and security. Of our new friends. In return, we gain a valuable fueling outpost that ensures the ongoing efficiency of our operations in this sector. Or you will be replaced. I'm sure we won't need to resort to such drastic alternatives. Will we? No. Splendid. You may go now. I want to do a dark side version of this so Bye. bad. Shah, report. The Republic fleet has escaped. That is disappointing, Commander. How did this happen? Lack of focus and overly we complicated way to prevent plan. most of the ships from escaping. Instead, Valron and Shah chose a plan that was too complex and risky to work. Preposterous. Silence. We have no time for squabbles. The combined strength of the Republic's Onderon and Mekshar fleets will present a significant challenge to our Corellia operation. I'm transmitting coordinates now. We will meet to discuss our strategy for the attack immediately. Malgus out. I shall remember this, Commander. Rest assured. Oh well. My lords. Orders just came through. 
Looks like I'm backing you up on Corellia. Heard they have good whiskey. Might try and grab some. Don't bother. Kalsinor's blends are just as good, and much simpler to find in Imperial space. Maybe so. But you know what they say about a looted bottle. The truest taste of victory. Oh, I like mm. this one. I've enjoyed working with her so far. Major Anri, this is Lana Benico. Charmed. Hey, You're, uh, yo, what up, Ed? How you doing, man? Am I clear to come in now? One of yours. Most of the time. Are we good to go or what? This is not the best neighborhood. Lead the way. Nice. Same here. About to do this this mission in a second here. Trying to finish up uh, this DLC today and then probably grind until I get to max item rating. That's the plan. Now form a guild at the guild register. Okay, the fleet in your capital city. I was thinking about the store. You were able to set up works. I don't know how long I build these. Yeah. Is that how you see? Oh boy. Commander, everyone else is with the fleet en route, save the Empress, of course. She's back on Dromund Cast. I'll connect us. All right. Commander, I'm pleased to see you again. I am gratified that my Dark Council has worked alongside you so efficiently. Such productive cooperation is crucial to our Empire's future. If only your operations had resulted in fewer Republic reinforcements, our work on Corellia would be more straightforward. I regret that we couldn't do more to weaken the Republic's position. All the same, we still have some advantages over our foes. So I did forget that, the enemy that I did switch sides, bad. Strategy, their fleets will assume a flexible defensive formation in geosynchronous but I'm, orbit above the I kind of go back and forth. Contrary to their expectations, I will take most of our ships to the far side of Corellia, forcing at least some of their vessels to break formation and engage us. And how will you ensure that the enemy chases you? Indiscriminate bombardment of the planet's surface. Cities, industrial centers, resource caches. We will be impossible to ignore. We cannot massacre civilians purely as a diversion. We certainly can. Regardless, civilians are not a resource our enemy is short <laughs> on. But Corellia is full of others. By that, I mean, I'm Imperial working Focus for the Republic. Which is why I keep As getting all those wish, saboteur we things. We will target industrial facilities, resource caches, <laughs> and other strategic assets to draw the enemy away from the shipyard. With their formation broken, our technological advantages will allow us to punch through the remaining defenders and conduct a surface assault on the complex. The last of our dreadnoughts, equipped with isotope 5 reactors, will escort the ground assault force through the enemy's blockade. Meanwhile, the silencers commanded by Moff Pyron will destroy any Republic Ooh. capital ships that attempt to interfere. <laughs> yeah, I want to do four playthroughs so bad. Harrow and Dreadnoughts, modified to carry state-of-the-art mega laser Oh, main wait, cannons. I'll go with more. And this is over. destroy enemy capital ships in a single shot. Once we reach the planet's surface, we will attack the Meridian complex from multiple directions, seize its control center, and disable the shields protecting it from orbital bombardment. From there, our ships reduce the complex to slag, and the Republic's best hope for victory crumbles into dust. An impressive and well-conceived plan. But what role will the Alliance and its incomparable commander play? The silencers are vulnerable to starfighter attack. With the Alliance fleet to escort them, that risk is all but nullified. As for the commander, I would welcome such a deadly ally in my surface attack group. It will be an honor to fight with you as always, Algus. Together, we will be Argus. unstoppable. Rendezvous always. with these coordinates, 
Our attack begins as soon as you arrive, Commander. Let our enemies remember <laughs> why they fear the power of the Sith Empire. Let the entire galaxy know our strength. Very good. My Very boys good. have a ship fueled and ready for us. They're practically drooling. Most of them have never seen a battle this big. They'll be competing for the most kills. Care to join the pool? Winner takes any interesting gear or other goodies we manage to plunder on the way out. I'd rather win some time alone with you. <laughs> My time's not something you win. Besides, once we've hit the surface and dropped everyone who gets in our way, it'll just be the two of us, right? Shall we? This is take us right there. I'm assuming. Commander, proceed to these coordinates to join our assault formation. Our ships are in position and report ready. Dang. Let the battle begin. This is a battle of Corellia, right? Oh man. Coming in hot. Oh man. <laughs> Here we go. Proceeding with bombardment, targeting infrastructure and industrial objectives only. Silencer group, move to your designated firing points. Surface attack group, advance. Isotope 5 generators at maximum output. Engines at 322%, shields at 563%. Energy levels like that, flying this close together, our little ships will never even show up on their scopes. We're all but invisible. They're concentrating fire, trying to pick us off one by one. Ignore them. Maintain course and speed. Shields failing. For the Empire! It's <laughs> oh, course. Holding. Go ah, ah. Oof. We have breached the Republic's defensive line. All ships, break formation. Scatter. They can't shoot at us now. If they miss, they'll hit their own people on the surface. Algus and Krovos have outdone themselves. Let's hope the rest goes so smooth. Surface attack group, proceed to your landing coordinates. The final phase of the battle is about to begin. Hey. So, yeah, what I was saying, so I really want to do four playthroughs so bad, and by that, I literally mean, like, everything from all, all the way through, because I did both of the internal thrones, good side stuff, so, on the Imp Imperial, I've always wanted to do the bad side stuff as an Imperial, and then I've always wanted to do the good side and bad side stuff of the uh the other guys too but man that would take a lot of time but i know it doesn't really change much Close but there one. are some slight changes Enemy artillery incoming. and now that like something like this is out where there can be some pretty big changes it does make me want to do them even more too Wait, this is a flashpoint? Oh, okay. Huh. Interesting. It's a solo flashpoint. Also, why did I keep showing? Oh. Can't do that while fighting. Push up! We need to get off this beach. We're sitting banthas out here.
do you have to complete um Knights of the Eternal like all the night stuff in order to do this DLC? Or like if I have like a level 75 or 70 or whatever, can I start the onslaught DLC? I'm assuming you have to do everything prior. Because there are some characters from it. Damn. Yeah, I think you do. Unless if you can just like roll, like there. randomly choose like what it would be. But I think that requires like a usually like a uh, character boost. It's like if I could, if I could roll through that stuff, like I mean actually like say, okay, yeah, you want to uh, skip to Onslaught DLC. Okay, now that you're going to skip to Onslaught DLC, do you want to have your choices in this DLC be good side, light side, or neutral? And like, kind of like build off of that. That would be pretty cool. I love my damage over time abilities so much. So, so, so much. <laughs> oh, let's make it. Let's make it. Ah, uh, we made it. Just made it. Oh, man. Uh. uh close one there. Haha. <laughs> There's literally like one guy that hasn't gotten hit from that. Wait, where does she keep going? She's like glitching out. Where did she go? I need them heals, my dude. Actually, though, like, where is she? There you are. Jeez. Uh, I think I can get rid of some stuff, but I'm gonna hold on to it. Actually, this, 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 and not that, not that. No. Eh. Well, now we can get superior renown boosts. May open up these. That's not even. <laughs> that's not even a thing that aye, aye. all materials I think we're good what is this uh, prefab includes universal can be transformed into a variety of decorations at a fabrication droid oh gotcha so that so that so that Very good. What's my guy look like? Regular. <laughs> That's actually what he looks like? Like, for real? I feel like that's so anti, like, anticlimactic. With the high level that he is and everything, like, being <laughs> a general, or not a general commander. I feel like that's, uh... Approaching the main republic not very uh it's not fitting 
Let's see if we can get, ah, uh, we can't get by so. He said, prepare for heavy resistance. Oh my gosh. You know, this looks worse than it actually is. How do I renown? What is that? The keybind for that? Renown stash control I. Okay. And then I'm guessing like this stuff isn't really that good, so yeah, none of this is good. Disintegrate. Open. Uh is that any better? Wait, what? Plus disintegrate? doesn't have an item rating. How does it not have an item rating? I... What happens if I claim it? Oh, now it has one. 270? Oh, okay. Interesting. What's up, guys? trying to think how I'm gonna do this I want it my priority is getting this guy to max level that's like step one um, part two I think is gonna be pretty much uh, either working on the bounty hunter that I made previously uh, or possibly choosing another character to go through um, I also want to kind of, since I did Imperial side, I kind of want to play Republic as well. I don't know though. I guess step one is just literally getting this guy to where he needs to be level wise. And then go from there. Might throw on that boost. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, yeah, well. I can always buy more if I need to. Oh boy. That's a big boy take out the ads here Now we can focus on the big guy. And here comes some more ads. All right. Oh my gosh.
Boy. Let me call this in. Oh my god. Did it, wait, I thought I could. I'll take all then. Almost dead. Thank you. Oh, man. Yeah, they couldn't have came in any earlier than that. Imperial captain. Meta Quadroid and heal up real quick. Pair, sell that. Okay. that coming also it's a little chilly in my room so I might grab a jacket oh, I don't need a jacket Jedi champion. Pretty good. Yeah, it doesn't. I don't think we're going to be able to just slide past these guys. I love seeing that. <laughs> Just rotating between them. Rotate, rotate, rotate. He's got them. This guy needs some of these. This guy needs this. Only thing I did wish I had was like a a giant like explosion ability. Someone's a droid say okay, that's uh recovery. I know there used to be one where droids would come in and like drop bombs on the enemy. Not sure where that one's at though.
Okay. Getting there. Slowly but surely. We'll get to the right or the left. Let's get to the right. Close one there. Is this for now level? Okay, yeah it is. Now points. He doesn't have Perosi. He does. Oh, you're gonna need a dart, mister. There you go. That's so confusing. The, so this sh shatter, or sh yeah, what is it? Shatter shot, it doesn't apply that. It applies trauma to people. Oh, I guess that's the same thing. I need to use that more. <laughs> That's actually not bad. Suppressive. Suppressive fire. You are near the industrial monorail that services the spire. If it is still operational, it will be the Halcyon and Seedon. Okay, so I'm gonna go for Seedon first, I guess. Actually, let's use this too. Invaders, you defile our code. Seedon's almost dead. I will not let your death be in vain. Selden. Oh. Ah! Who is this? Reduces uh, accuracy and exposes from cover for up to. Okay, cool. My guy, you're not doing much damage to me. You are to my companion, though. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, never mind. Let me use all these now. Ah, oh, shoot. Hold on. Hold on a second there, sir. Hold on just a second. Ah! Oh, this is getting kind of close now. There. Hey, Master Jakir, hold on, please. All right, you're almost dead. Thank you. Very good. I was getting a little bit close there, <laughs> but we're good now. Uh, lethal mod. Ooh. 270. Wait, what can this go? Uh, my new weapon, I guess, right? Wait, are these 270? 270, 270. What do lethal mod mods go on to? Weapons and armor. Okay. Do I have any equipment that can take lethal mods? Doesn't really look like it. Uh, wait, actually. Yes, I do. 268, 268. And these items are 270. Okay. 268. Um. You know, that's one thing I didn't even realize I could totally buy, like, uh, some modifications.
Lethal mod and savement enhancement. So if I like go to this thing and I say this. Incoming. And then I put this. Wait, is that going to... Okay, good. Oh, it was an enhancement. Great, got it, got it. Okay, so now I'm at 269. Maximum is 306. Slowly but surely getting there. <laughs> I love how they said leave. Wait, where are they? Like. Right here. 